Hello, Reuben here. The title of this message is called, Have You Respond to God? Matthew chapter 13, verse 15. Jesus is speaking here, saying, For this people's heart is waxed, gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Number 19, same chapter. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. The wicked one. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 19. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts. Because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, and rejected it. Jeremiah chapter 7. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 23 and 24. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice. And I will be your God, and ye shall be my people, and walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear, but walk in the counsel and in the imagination of their evil hearts and went backwards and not forward. Praise the Lord. Have you ever wondered why God is not answering your prayers? Have you ever wondered where you are at at this present moment? Why you got so much issues in your life? Why you worry so much? What is it about me that I can't fix? I, I keep praying, I keep praying, and it's like God doesn't answer my prayers. Have you ever thought about that? What's going on in your life? One of the key things here is about this message is that nobody is paying attention to what Jesus Christ is saying. They're not listening to what he's saying. They don't understand him. And then they want something, some kind of blessing in their life that comes from heaven. You have to understand this. You just cannot rely just going on church all the time. Just going to church and thinking that that's going to solve your answer and that's going to solve your problem. And then just go up to the altar and praise and worship while the music is going on or listening to the message with with the pastor is preaching. You also have to understand that it is the Bible. You have to understand the Bible. By all means, it is good to go to church. But how how valuable it is to you going to church and then you don't read the Word of God, you don't study, and then you are not paying attention to uh, what God is trying to tell you for the benefit of your life, your soul. You can't judge anybody. You don't supposed to judge these people. Before you know it, then they're going to turn around and they're going to start judging you. 
You can't have bitter and grudges against church members, your family, in the world. There are people out there that are lost in this world. They need help. We have this responsibility to go out there and seek the lost. Even our believers. The problem here also as well is that there are a lot of people that they want some kind of miracle like this. They want to answer right away that comes from God. You have to understand something. You have to understand that you need to communicate with God. You need to carry the cross and focus your life in Jesus. Jesus is explaining everything about life. He's explaining everything about money. He's explaining everything about what's going on in this world. He's explaining everything about your family, your loved ones. And, and, and there's marital problems too. Sometimes the marital problem they cannot even solve. They're constantly fighting all the time, arguing about the bills, arguing about what's going on, what's going on here in this house. How come you don't listen to me? How come you don't listen to her? The answer is in this book, the Holy Bible. The Bible can counsel you. I ask you to please, husband and wife and children, study the Bible together. Husbands, church members, you cannot govern your house all the time. You got to make some space for your wife as well. Yes, we are the man of the house. I'm the man of the house, but my wife, she got freedom. I counsel her. I don't hold her tight in the chain. It's not what God wants. Husband, you have the right, you have the right to love your wife, you take care of that wife. You have a right to counsel her. Give her what she needs. Protect her. And wives, church members, you need to do the same for your husband. This here murmuring and disputing each other, that's not going to solve your problem. And a lot of, a lot of reasons why this is going on in your lives and this why marriage are, are, are torn apart is because you're not hearkening to everything that God is telling you. You're not praying enough. You're not fasting enough. You don't listen to what Jesus is trying to teach you. You want to do things your way. That's not going to work. God is not going to let you. God is going to step back and let you destroy your own self. Not all the time is the enemy. But if you persist and persist and persist, yeah, the enemy is going to take toll of your mind and he's going to corrupt your heart and now you want to go around and now you want to destroy another member of the church. Perhaps your wife, your, your child, or, your, or whoever it is. Right? That's the work of the enemy. God is not telling you to do all these things. You need to counsel yourself first and foremost. You need to see where you are at in life. You need to set goal. You need to balance yourself. Because if it comes to money, remember, it's God's money. You want to make a way for your life economically to do what God wants you to do. Understand your pace that you are going in right now. Slow down a little bit. There's no need to rush. You ain't getting nowhere. Take your time in your life. Counsel yourself with God. Jesus is the only way. The Holy Bible is what it's what really teaches you. It's like I said in the beginning of this video. How you want God to help you when you're not even listening to Him? You want to do things your way. You only rely on church. You only rely on the preacher. You only rely on the song. But you're not opening this Bible and have a communication with Jesus Christ. The entire Bible. You don't study. How you gonna know? How, how, how you gonna know where you are at? 
you're going to start judging somebody. Then they're going to start judging you. You want to gossip, but yet you want to go to heaven. All this stuff that people are doing, it ain't doing you no good. You're just committing what the enemy likes. The more you persist on doing things that you think you're doing right, the enemy's going to turn, the God's going to turn around. He's going to get, he's going to get back and say, is that what you want to do? I'm going to let you go ahead and punish your own self. And you're going to see that you will punish yourself. And then you want to blame it on somebody else. Maybe you want to blame it on God. Maybe you want to blame it on Jesus Christ after everything he has done for you. Why don't you pick up yourself? I'm even speaking of myself here. God has counseled me. For 27 years I've been serving the Lord. The only, the only reason why people are having battles in their mind and their heart is corrupted because they don't counsel with God. They don't fast. They don't, they don't realize the things that Jesus is teaching. All these parables that Jesus, in the Bible, that Jesus is trying to teach you. If you're going to church for Christ, just be honest. Are you going to serve God? Or are you going to serve the world? This is the reason why a lot of Christians think they're, 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 they're walking righteously. Some Christians in reality, they think they're walking righteously. If you don't listen to Jesus, if you don't see him, you are not going to understand him. You're always going to have battles in your life. I don't care how many times you have been going, how long you've been going to church. You're still going to have issues and problems. Well, you may say, well, there's no, no, everybody got problems. Nobody is perfect. There's no church perfect. But I'm talking here about the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm talking about. The Holy Spirit is what calms you. The Holy Spirit is what, what makes you righteous. The Holy Spirit is what takes you away from all that. When you put the whole armor of God, the enemy cannot pluck you. It's only because you let him. Jesus is even teaching how the enemy can take you away from him. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Do you understand the meaning of carrying the cross? Do you understand where you are at right now at this moment? You have to pause for a minute. You need to think and understand that the Holy Bible is the, is the way to go for your life to study this Word. There's no shame in studying the Word of God. There's no shame in going to church. There's no shame to to drop down a little tears. When you bend down, you fall on your knees in, in, in front of Christ. Then you start feeling his presence of the Holy Spirit. He's communicating with you. But this is not a one-time thing. It's a lifetime thing. You want to reach to heaven and seek the crown, you need to seek Jesus Christ. You need to understand it's all about what he says, it's not what you say. He says, by my commandment, not the commandment of man. Remember this, the 10th commandment, the 10th commandment in the Bible, number one is the most important one of all. Study the 10 commandments. You're gonna fall in the trap of the enemy. You're gonna have a lot of gods in your life. And then you ain't going to understand what Jesus Christ is all about. And yet you're still going to church and you still don't understand what Jesus is all about. Because you don't study, you don't read, you don't follow up in everything that God wants you to do. This is the reason why people got issues and problems in the churches. You judge everybody, you talk about everybody, but then you don't want, you want God to, to respond to you. You want God to do things for you, do a miracle, but yet you don't hearken to his word. You need to listen to him, see him, so you can have a better understanding. 
Jesus Christ is the only way. God bless you, everybody.